thank you all for taking the time to come here. We're a few minutes behind, but we want to let the last people kind of come in, so welcome. Um, so already noticed, Amanda is not here um, tonight because she is traveling with a group to Arizona. They are on a Grand Canyon trip, um, great trains in canyons. Um, so they've been exploring and going around the canyons and having a great time and getting some pictures and videos. So there'll be a lot to share about that great trip. Um, I imagine about right now, she's probably enjoying a glass of wine to wash down the cactus that she tried the other day. That she tastes so well. Um, if you haven't seen that video, by the way, you need to go on the Facebook page and see it because it's pretty funny. Yes. Um, anyway, so she did ask me to, uh, to fill in for her today. Um, in case I haven't had the pleasure to meet you yet, my name is Debbie. Um, I have been in the office at Roseboro since about last June. Prior to that, I was here for about a year as an outside agent. Um, so some of you I've met, some of you I haven't. So um, just to let you know if you hear my office and or hear my voice on the phone in the office, it's, it's me. Um, we also have the rest of the team here with us tonight. We have Tiffany, of course you know. Hello. She is Amanda's. country club casual. So that means that we do not have any formal nights. So you can leave your suits, ties, and evening gowns at home. We do not have that prom drop, okay, to take pictures. And therefore, we don't have photographers chasing after you to take your pictures, okay? We don't have the conga line. We don't have the Harry Chestman contest. We don't but have anything like that, and we do not. You do not have to fight for a pool chair. Okay. What this is, is more relax, okay, and travel the world, and really be what cruising is meant to be. So Oceana, really, if you have to say what three things is Oceana is all about, I'll have to say these three things. Number one, our intimate and luxury ships. 
our finest cuisine and see, and we are the destination specialists. Those are the three things that really identify Oceana Cruises and set apart from all of our competition. So for the ships, we are more boutique size, more mid size. So we have four ships in our fleet that are 684 passenger ships, and two of them are 1,250. The guest, the um, crew ratio, we're talking about 400 for the 684 and 800 for the 1250. So it breaks down for every two of you, there's one of me. That's what it breaks down to. And that service level is really what folks like to see. When you come on board Oceanic Cruises, you're treated as a family member. Okay? The crew is going to know your first and last name, I promise you, by the second day. And all of our past crews that are here probably are very familiar with that. During the destination specialists, we have a lot of itineraries. We're going to cover, we're going to scratch the surface today, but definitely something that I always tell folks, if it is in, uh, in your to-do list and something that you want to get to, we probably do have it in one of our itineraries. Okay? We're, we do travel all around the world. A lot of people tell me, where do you leave out of? Do you leave out of Port Canaveral? Do you leave out of Miami? We actually leave out of 366 different ports. Okay? And I'll tell you how you can get to those destinations. And last but not least, we are the finest cuisine at sea. We have that. By far, hands down, if you hear anything about Oceana Cruises, it's about our culinary. And one of the reasons why is we really put our money where our mouth is. Okay, when it comes to the I'll tell you why. So, if you never experienced Oceana Cruises, you want to know what's included. So, I always tell folks, when you look for a cruise, no matter what cruise line do you choose, there's always two prices for every cruise. And you pay those two prices. And probably you do know it, but some of you don't even know it. You pay the price to get on board. Okay, so you pay that nice price, and you pay, you pay that nice price when you get off the cruise. Sometime during the debarkation day, you have a little fairy that comes in your door and there's a little door, a little paper underneath your door. And then you wake up in the morning, you see this paper and you and you lift it up and all of a sudden you spent two thousand dollars in the bar. Okay? That's happened to me. Alright, two thousand dollars in in an hour. So a lot of people say, you know what? If, is there a cruise line where I could be a little bit smarter? And that, you know what, I just want everything up front. And if I choose to enhance my experience, okay, I get to have that option. Well, here you go. Here's what it, what's included on an Oceana cruise. Your non-alcoholic beverages. So your bottle of water, your smoothies, teas, coffees, anything you like that's non-alcoholic we include. Airfare is included. And we do include airfare from Orlando, okay, along with 25, 25 other gateways. We include specialty dining, okay, so we don't charge you $45 or $55 specialty dining, that's already included. We include Wi-Fi. We even include local transportation to and from the city centers. So we take away that taxi charge away from you. So that's what's included on board our cruises. Now what's not included is alcohol and excursions. And the reason being is that most of our guests on board like that option of either including alcohol or not to include alcohol. Same thing with excursions. You have some folks that only drinks one glass of wine, or some folks that drink a bottle of wine. Okay? Some folks like to do excursions. Some folks like to just get lost and see what's going on. So you can make an ocean cruise as inclusive as you want or as a la carte as you go. Okay, and that's why we use that tagline, your world, your way. So I'm going to show you our first video of the day, and this is just tell you, you know, about Oceana Cruises from our guest time point of view and where we're going in the future. <laughs> I remember somebody telling me in Venice that the best thing you can do in Venice is get lost. And we did that. We, we've done that. Every turn that you made was something else surprising and good. You go to a new island, you go to a new country. We discover more about each other. We even 
dance more. And my wife sure likes to dance, which is nice. So the 
um, the grand staircase, for example, that used to have a painting and did not have the chandelier. But look at it now. That's has the leading crystals and has that chandelier. Into the passenger areas where you go into our atriums and boutique shops, we also revamped it. Same thing with our uh, lounge areas, the bars and lounges as well. Uh, the grand dining room is something different. The grand dining room used to have a kind of Renaissance painting on top of this table here, this area, and now it has a nice chandelier. Or we have, you have baristas, which is our coffee shop, we used to have like a fake chimney, okay? We tore that down, actually made the dining room more open that people can come and go into baristas if you want to. We have a, an espresso after dinner or before dinner, okay, depending on how they like for coffee. And then finally, the state rooms. We actually did change them. We took out those old box TVs and now put flat screen TVs and now they're interactive. We put USB ports in every single one of our state rooms. Reason being is that we took a survey and we found that over 55 folks use Facebook more than millennials. <laughs> One fact. Okay. So we bring their devices. And now we get free Wi-Fi. We didn't used to have free Wi-Fi. Now we do. So folks always like to put in the devices, plug into Facebook and say, be jealous of where I am in the world and you're not. You're at home. <laughs> be more. Uh, so one thing is that another thing we changed the furniture of the state rooms, we made it more lighter, and we changed the bathroom. So the bathrooms you have this big curtain, we took it out with a glass door. I know. <laughs> so fun, funny joke, we, when we saw Insignia and um, we were taking a tour of the bathroom, like for those of you that were married to that curtain, okay, it's time for a divorce. We put in now a glass door. We also made changes to the sink. So it's more roomier, okay? So, and again, trying to look like the marina and Riviera, that the bathrooms are larger. So speaking of marina and Riviera, the old class, not many changes are being made right now. They're fairly new. They're, they were built in 2012 and 13. So they're fairly new. But we have up prepped them every single year. I will say that big announcement's going to happen with them. That's down the road, so stay tuned to Roseboro Travel, they are very good with giving you news and on their social media page, so um, just be just be on the lookout, okay, in the next few months about what's going to happen with Marine and Riviera. It's actually very exciting news. With Marine and Riviera, because they're larger, now looking at 1,250 square feet, uh, square feet, sorry, 50 passenger ship, uh, you have more venues you can play around with. So we have enhanced bars and lounges. So we have more bars and lounges to have the two for one happy hours. For the two for one happy hours, you have to try our signature drink called the O. It's a very powerful martini. And that's the reason why after two or more, it changed its name. It changed it to the O oh, No, the O oh, I'm Drunk, and O oh, Honey I'm Gonna Bed. Okay? But we do have a lot of tastings in martinis, and also we have Horizons, which is we have our dance parties, karaoke bar. One of the things I do like about the Oak Class is our culinary center. We actually are the very first cruise line to have a full culinary center on board. And the culinary center, you get to learn how to cook or expand your, your palate, if you will, with our executive chefs. Okay? It's obviously very inexpensive. It's only $69 per person to do so. Okay, for a 60 to 90 minute class. And it's unlimited wine. Okay, so the wine fairy is there refilling your cups. Another thing about the old class is the artist loft. The artist loft is kind of like the painting with a twist type of um, activity. And then of course we have the libraries. The libraries are larger. We have actually a library on the old class is next to baristas. So you can grab a cup of coffee, grab a book from our library, go in a W ball if you want to play a card game or a board game, we do have it as well. There are other activities on board, actually all of our vessels, so we don't just eat and play cards, we actually do other things. We have to dance, we have dance parties, we have deck parties, we do have entertainment. Okay, so we do have Las Vegas style shows, Broadway musicals in our auditoriums. We have lectures, so if you're into Whatever the case is, we probably have it on board. Okay. One of the things that the O class has that no other cruise line nor our R class vessels have is La Reserve. 
What is now reserved by one spectator? It's actually a five to eight course Epicurean food and wine experience. Say that three times. Okay. <laughs> and what it is is that we have four different menus paired with exotic wines from all over the world. Folks, these wines you cannot find in a Publix, I promise you, or Total Wine. These wines are really being handpicked by wine connoisseurs. It was actually um, featured in a lot of magazines, and it caught the eye of one particular wine, winery. Did anybody guess who that winery is? It was actually mentioned in the video. Dom Perignon. That's right. Dom Perignon saw what we did with La Reserve, and they decided to partner with us. So this experience is available on, uh, on sea days. So what about port days? And we're very port intensive. So on port days, what folks um, do not know, what we actually did on board, is that we changed La Reserve into a uh, small plates area. So if you like tapas, okay, or small plates, you can go into La Reserve on port days and get free small plates and you get to taste the wines that the people at La Reserve get to taste. Now, you don't pay the prices of La Reserve, but you pay uh, as you go with the wines. If you have the beverage package, it is included. Okay, the wines are included. So, about the Don Perignon experience, I can tell you a little about it, but I'd like to share a little video. And I'm sorry, you might get hungry after you see this video. <laughs>
So as you've heard from past videos, once the ship docks, our chefs go out to local markets and pay fresh seafood, fresh produce. So if you're in Alaska and at, your, at our grand dining room, you see salmon, that salmon was actually picked that very morning. So you get fresh and authentic salmon from Alaska. Same thing with paella. I've heard and I've seen uh, paella being made and actually served in our dining room tables. Okay, so again, a lot of things when it comes to food and wine, we're at the top. Uh, now, with that being said, we do know that some ingredients are better than others. Okay, and we do know that to be the very best, you have to have the very best. So we actually do bring in some ingredients from all over the world. The first one is our lobster. We actually pick our lobster from Nova Scotia. We have a father and son team that gets that for us. Uh, our cheeses come from Holland. Our chocolate comes from uh, Venezuela and New Guinea. Our dough and butter comes from France. So we actually use a very special dough uh, that only the French made because it's resistant to humidity. We bake baguettes, croissants, and our breads fresh every single morning. Okay. Now, I'll give you a little secret. You take that French uh, dough with the French butter and that chocolate from New Guinea, put it together, and you get the best chocolate croissant you ever had. <laughs> our, cho the, our chocolate croissants have two bars of chocolate in them. Okay. Now, with that said, we do have three gyms and uh, three fitness classes on board. So if you're into the fitness buff, we do have that complimentary. So you all the food that you're going to eat. But if you're a big fanatic of lobster, you can have lobster in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. In our, in, in our uh, casual dining room, because we don't use the B word of Oceana, you know what that B word is? No. What is it? Buffet. Buffet. Yeah, we don't we don't use that word. So in our casual dining room, okay, or you can come in and you can have a lobster omelet if you want to. Okay, that's free of charge. At lunchtime, you can go to our burger bar, ways right by poolside, and get a surf and turf burger. That's lobster and uh, and a good USDA burger. Okay, and last but not least, if dinner, if you want lobster again. You can go have lobster tail and grilled steak, and that's for free. So I've heard that a lot of folks go lobster galore when they go on board our cruises, and that's the reasons why. And then last but not least, we have several. We have the best equipment on board, so we have a kitchen every single one of our dining rooms. So when you order your steak and lobster from Olo Grill, for example. That's made fresh right there and there, a la menuda, as Jacques says it. So you put all these pieces together, and that's one of the reasons why we're known to have the finest cuisine in sea. One of the things I like to do, and I, and I said this in the, on, the, on the ship tour, and some folks here um, were on the ship tour we did actually last month, and the, I tell them about the finest cuisine in sea, and they get to go to our dining room and actually taste the finest cuisine in sea, okay? And when they do, and I ask the question, so do we have the best food on board? And they shake their head, yes, we do. Same thing with our past guests, and they taste and they, and they, and they come back and say, you know what, yeah, you guys have the best food. See, because they're nodding their heads, seeing out the best food on board, okay? So, let's talk about food, because we're getting hungry right now in the afternoon. Let's talk about where we go. So, honestly, this is in a nutshell. Where do we go? Everywhere that's colored. <laughs> That's it. That's the world. So there's only three places we don't go. The North and South Pole and the Galapagos <coughs> Islands. Everywhere else we go. Like I mentioned before, we are very port intensive. So, if you like these at sea, I'm sorry we're not your cruise line. Okay? Unless you go on a, on a transatlantic, on a transpacific, we don't have days at sea. We have one or two at the most. We don't have that much. What we like to give you is more ports more overnight stays, and more extended stays. And the reason for that is that we want you to be immersed in the culture, the arts, the history, and of course the culinary of each port of call. Because when you're in Venice, if you leave at 5 o'clock, you really can't see much. But if you leave at 11 o'clock at night, you definitely see a lot. Okay. 
So where do we go? Now again, I'm just scratching the surface, okay? But I'm gonna cover a lot. So who likes to go to TV? <laughs> Bora Bora. Okay, we actually have an itinerary for you. March 25th, 2020, the Redada. That's Papiete de Papiete. And remember, with this, remember, air is included. Along with a short excursion, uh, actually, it should be six, sorry, six short excursions, beverage finding $600 for credit. So my marketing is going to fix that slide there, so sorry about that. It's six short excursions, a beverage packing, $600 for credit, so you can choose one. What about Sydney? Okay, this is my favorite, Sydney to Bali. Okay, December 6, 2019. Oh, what about Sydney to Auckland? Another one. So there is actually one in February of 2020 that goes from Auckland, goes to Fiji, and ends in Tiki. Okay, that's a nice one. So let's go a little bit more towards the uh, more Western Hemisphere. So what about Rio de Janeiro? Buenos Aires, Argentina. Okay. I'm going to go from my man right back there. So we got Buenos Aires, uh, sorry, Rio to Buenos Aires. Okay, hitting a lot. And again, most of, most of these port of calls, not many cruise lines get to. Because of our size of our ship, we can get to go to these boutique ports. Okay. Of course, everybody's favorite, Europe. Okay, beautiful scenery there. Okay, who's who's a big wine fanatic? Who loves wine? Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> so Amanda, wish you were here. Uh, but for those wine fanatics, this is actually the itinerary for you. And the reasons for that is because you get to touch three wineries. And these three wineries are the Spanish winery, the Portuguese winery, and the French wineries. So this is what's called Wine Art and Aristocrats. You begin in Barcelona, which is overnight in Barcelona, you get to Seville and Cadiz, which those, Cadiz actually, uh, which there's that's the Spanish vineyards. Lisbon and Porto and Coruña is actually where you find the Portuguese uh, vineyards, and of course, Bordeaux. Bordeaux is Bordeaux, and so one of the fine wines of France, and then you end up in London. We still have a lot of availability on this one. May 13th of 2020, 12 days, and we have excursion that goes to each one of the wineries I just explained. So what about if you're looking something different, you want to go to Norway, Oslo to London, and the entire uh, Norwegian coast, and ending up in London for 12 days on July of next year. If you're more into Mediterranean, look at that. Seven days, Barcelona to Rome. The reasons why I, I'm oh, sorry, Monte Carlo to Barcelona, excuse me. The reasons why I pointed this out is a lot of cruise lines for seven days, they only hit Barcelona, maybe Marseille, Pisa, Naples, Rome, and that's it. For seven days. But look what we hit for seven days. You go to Monte Carlo, we go, we go to Pisa, we go to Portofino, we go to Rome, Marseille, Palma Mallorca, Ibiza, and Barcelona. Okay? So we get more port intensive. So let's go colder. Alaska, Glacier Bay, Juneau, and Skagway. <coughs> now, we do leave out of four ports to Alaska, right there at San Francisco to Vancouver, but we leave out of Vancouver to Seward, Seward to Seattle, Seattle to Seattle, Vancouver to Vancouver. The itinerary that only caught my attention was Vancouver to Seward because it goes up, kind of has that particular itinerary. It goes to all the way to Kodiak, so it's all the way to the west, and then returns to Seward. Okay. Now we do have pre and post cruise uh, cruise tours with the, with the Alaska tours. Uh, we have the Alaska sailings. We have the um, Discover the Nali, where you can see the Nali National Park, uh, Talpitna, and Anchorage. And we have the Rocky Mountaineer uh, Canadian Rockies. So you go all the way uh, from Vancouver, all the way, I think, to um, Jasper, I think it is. Uh, and then you visit Banff and see the Canadian Rockies. <laughs> all right, so let's go back to the US. So, what about New England? Okay, this is actually one of my favorites. Montreal to Miami. Okay, to see the fall foliage. Right? 
And everybody's favorite, the Caribbean. Okay? Throughout La a Panama Canal, Miami, San Francisco. We also have Miami, Los Angeles. Okay, our airfares included. Uh, so we get to fly from Orlando to Miami, or if you want to drive, that's fine. We'll give you an air credit, and then you can go uh, from San Francisco back to Orlando. Okay, or Miami if you drove. Miami, go to your car. This is obviously another unique one. Miami to Miami, but it goes to Port Canaveral, it goes to Nassau, Charleston, and Bermuda. Okay, not many ships go to Bermuda, especially from Miami. Rolls World Travel is actually offering you free gratuities on this one. So if you're available on April 1st, you get to do this 10 day cruise and you get free gratuities along with other amenities. Now, folks, with this one, I will tell you that if you call us and say, well, Andy told me I get free gratuities, you call us direct, that doesn't exist. We're going to tell you what, who, and what privilege you took this morning. Okay? We, we're not going to offer that to you direct. You have to book it with Wolf's World Travel, the only ones that's going to offer you this particular sailing with free prepaid gratuities. Now, there are more uh, sailings that have free prepaid gratuities, which I will tell you that later on in the program how you can get the, your hands on what specific sailings have that. Oh, I'll answer question at the end. So, a lot of folks love the itineraries, but they want to do it all. They want to do everything. Okay? Yeah, they like to go here and there, but they want it all. And I have the greatest solution for you an around the world cruise. Free medical care, free onboard medical care is another one. Okay, 
So we have a lot of free laundry, unlimited laundry. So yeah, right. <laughs> so you can you can press or wash, fold, whatever the case is. Other amenities as well. If you like more information about the Around the World cruise, uh, we do have the little brochure. Here's only five of them. Okay, so first come, first serve. Now, some folks tell me, Andy, I love the itinerary of the Around the World cruise, but I don't have six months. I mean, I can't live. I can't leave with, without my dog for six months. Okay, I get it. What we do have is actually what. What we did and um, we have is that we chop out this all these itineraries into segments. Okay. So if you don't have six months to spare, but you have two months to spare, you have a 60 day cruise that does partially around the world. 90 days or 120 days, whatever the case is, or just 30 days, depending on what portion of the world that you like to see, will give you a section of the around the world cruise. But definitely that would like to come for the full 180 days. If you take advantage of the sections, the segmented uh, around the world cruise, they don't come with the amenities. <coughs> you gotta do the full six months to get the amenities. So folks, in, in summary, uh, you saw what we offer as far as culinary, our ships, and our destinations. So, and I always go back to those three things. That is what made Oceana Cruises what it is today. But, of course, we all know that folks want to see the deal. Where is the deal? What, what can you offer me? Well, I will tell you that we offer whole life choice. Remember I said we don't include alcohol in our storage curtains. But, we're going to give you an incentive. If you book any staterooms on any voyage, we're going to give you the option of choosing either the uh, house beverage package, or excursions, or we'll give you the equivalent of shipboard credit. Now the beverage package is the house beverage package where we offer beer, wine, and champagne at meals. But of course some folks want spirits and want open bar. And we have that for $20 more per person per day. If you choose the house beverage package as an option, we will upgrade you to our prestige beverage package, which is open bar. Anytime, anywhere. Now, I know some cruise lines do offer open bar, but it's up to a certain price. So it's up to $17, up to $19. If it's in our menu, you can order it. Unless the bartender has to open up a glass case to take it out, or sake. I don't know why sake. That's the way it is. But anything else is unlimited. Okay, so that's what I said. You have the beverage package. You can go into La Reserve and pick up those wines that I told you for the uh, tapas bar. Shore excursions, depending on the shore excursions, uh, depending on uh, how many um, uh, how many days you stay with us, we'll give you X amount of shore excursions. On your table, I do have today's offer, and it gives the breakdown of whole life choice. Uh, that gives you how many days, okay, and how many shore excursions you get, and how many shipboard credit you get. I think we have a spare copy. Here we go. Let me borrow this. So this is what the flyer looks like, okay? So it gives you the breakdown of whole life choice. So, another thing I told you, right? I told you that, what about the list of free prepaid gratuities? So, on your way out, if you want to pick up this little guy right here, this actually is our voyage calendar. It tells you everything that we do in one snapshot. Okay, it's called coordinated by itineraries of the world. You're going to notice, I know probably in the back you can't see, but you're going to notice there are some black dots on this calendar. The black dots tells you that sailing day are offering free prepaid gratuities. Actually, not we, but Trump is offering free prepaid gratuities. So this guy can save you a lot of money. So definitely, if anything else, take this guy home. All right. So, and then going to today's offer. So by being here, you get a $250 state room credit on all 2019 and 2020 cruises. Now, you have actually a very unique situation. Next week, we are opening up late 2020 and 2021. I will offer this promotion to you if you book a 2021 cruise, okay? 
So all of 2020 and 2021 will be included in this offer. Okay? We are opening all the Caribbean sailings for 2020 and half of 2021. We're opening South Pacifics. Actually, there's a 30-day Australia cruise, Sydney to Sydney, doing the entire continent of Australia. Okay? We're also doing Asia, so a lot more Japan itineraries, and Cuba. Cuba right now is the hottest commodity. We're sold out for 2020. So if you want late 2020, 2021 Cuba, definitely book next week, because they will, they will fly. So for interiors and ocean view rooms, it's only $100. It is combinable with everything. So it is combined with all life choice, the prepaid gratuity offer. So if you pick, let's say, the one that I showed you, the Caribbean, you got all life choice, you get air included. You get the choice of either beverage package or shipboard credit or excursions. And you get free prepaid gratuities and a $250 shipboard credit. So you can take all that. Okay? Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I have to give you this public service announcement. This offer is fantastic, but it's for new bookings only. If you have an existing booking, I'm sorry, it has to be a new booking, okay? Which gives you a good chance to book your next cruise with Rolls World Travel Motion on our cruises. I know some of you are watching from home, okay? The, so folks that couldn't be here today, and that off, this offer also applies to you, you have up until April 26 to book your next cruise or Rolls World Travel and Oceana Cruises. So, before I play the last video, I want to open the floor for any questions. So, any questions will find the gentleman in the back. I have a question. I was just curious, maybe we can talk about it later. So, I sure you had a connection between Port Canaveral and Miami to do that. Okay, so actually, thank you, you brought that up. So, if you're joined up right here. Yes. Uh, so I know that Port Canaveral is the closest port, so if you want to leave out of Port Canaveral on that cruise that I showed you, you can. Okay, but it goes to Miami. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just like that, so you have to pick up your car at Port Canaveral. But yes, if you, if you want to leave out of Port Canaveral, you definitely can. You just, it, it goes to, back to Miami. Right. Okay, so if you can, Frank can drop you off, whatever the case, yes, you can leave out of Port Canaveral. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any work your way around the... Tours. I, mean, uh, I don't understand, I'm sorry. Well, like, can I work on board the ship today? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Do you get any around the world that don't leave in January? <laughs> no, unfortunately, we do not. Um, I, and I know that's something that you know folks are, are telling us of something. We're here, you're not a clear. Uh, but no, we don't have it. It's it's the and I get it because remember that we follow the good weather. We don't we don't we don't have the ports of calls that we're going to have if we if we start at a later time. So in the winter time, we have to we have, we're forced we have to go to the Caribbean, South America, and um, and Australia. Versus if we start in January, we can go to the more milder climates and then head our way to warmer clients when it's, or cooler clients, uh, climates when um, we get to July and June and July. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Um, the Australia cruise, if you go all the way around Australia, um, the um, barrier reef, do you have excursions that will take you out to the barrier reef early, yes. early in the morning? I don't know about early in the morning, but we do have those excursions. I don't know what time. So that's actually a good question for your Rolls Pro Travel agent. They'll find out for you. But I, I assume why not, but I don't know. I don't know if we do that in the morning. But we do have a barrier reef excursion. Yes. Okay, when, when is this cruise? You know what we um, That particular one, the Ross, the Ross, I think it's in, if I'm not mistaken, on January of 21. Yeah, no, January of 2021. I think, I, and I'm, I have to look at it, and I can definitely extend it to your travel agent, where that person is, I can extend that, um, I just got an entire itinerary, the actual date, and where it's going. I'll give you, I'll give you the sneak peek. 
Okay. Did you see that question? Is there a uh, limit next to the price of the excursion? So it's up to two hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, up to two hundred dollars on some of the shore excursions. Anything over two hundred dollars, it's not part of the uh, that shore excursion deal. We are members of your oh, I think you call it O Life or O Club. Yoga. The around the world. How many? How, how many credits do we get? About a ton. <laughs> All right. About a ton. I have seen gold to go to platinum. So here's a funny story. So to that to that question, I had some gold folks, um, gold level folks that went on the around the world cruise. Now they knew that once they go to the around the world, they go up to platinum. Our platinum level cruisers get a free cruise. So after they got off the around the world, okay, they are platinum, and they actually got a free two week cruise, which they attached. To their own the world cruise. Well, that was smart. That was smart. Yeah. They got a full, so if you're a platinum level, you get a free 14 day cruise. Not many cruise lines do that. Actually, I don't think that any cruise line does that. Okay. All right, folks. So I'm going to wrap up the last video. It kind of tells you about our staff and, and our environment on board. And then we'll do a drawing because we got some good prizes. And then um, I will be here for about 15, 20 minutes afterwards. So if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. All right, here we go. <coughs> you cannot be fake that when you're swimming to anybody. If you like somebody, if you come with many people from your and just show on your face and your eyes, then you cannot fake it. And in Nepal, we live together in one family. We have a country in our house. We serve the magic club, so guess it's for us, yeah, but it got. One of our general managers wanted to surprise a couple by having them renew their vows on board. They went on a sort of reconnaissance mission. They asked some questions about their actual wedding. And there in the library, we had champagne, our team made the cake for them. They made a difference in that couple's lives that day. It's real.